Hello everybody and welcome back to Seven Days to Die where I am joined by Avak. Say hello. Hello everyone. And uh, we are going to be building a perimeter wall today apparently. Uh, that is the hope, are. yes. I mean, I'll I'm going to drink some water. Probably Everyone's doing getting annoyed that I'm not drinking water a enough. A fair bit of work on the uh, the farm still. It's got, got a ways to go before it's ready. I'm good for food and water though. Uh, Do we have to be above a hundred to not be thirsty? Is I'm honestly not certain. Honestly not certain. Also, I'm going to grab that water purifier and I'm going to stick it in my helmet. Dunk. Which will in turn and then you can improve just drink the murky water. Yes. Not that I would want to. But it is a yeah, thing that I am now capable of doing, which is always cool. Uh, are we going to want to do any questing as well today? Or are we good with that? Uh, not sure. Well, I am moving around some of the odds and sods that were in the base. Uh, the things that were hanging Let's about. Let's see how much wood we have, because that will be the start of this perimeter wall. Because yeah. I think it's important to get this done. Yeah, yeah, of course. I have a coat now, so I, we don't need to do as much scavenging. Which is always great. We need scavenging for bullets and things like that, but we're getting to the point where it's not as As super important, important, yeah. Uh, one thing that uh, a few people pointed out, and just to address this, one, we can share quests, and that means that we yes. will share rewards for the quests. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for pointing that out again. Um, I The moment it was it was pointed out, I was like, oh my god, yes, you can. What a derp I am. Yeah, I remember doing it before, but like, I don't know why I didn't remember that you could do it. Yep, yep, much sadness. Also, it was suggested that I check out the comparison between crossbow bolts and arrows because it may be that crossbows have um benefits outside of just uh just the the raw damage of the weapon itself so for example ah. my crossbow does five less damage than my compound bow but my compound bow i believe is doing a lot more damage simply because it's got a modifier on it so let me Modify the crossbow so all things are equal. Yes, there we are. It does one less damage when modified. Cool. Now, stone crossbow bolt does range damage 28, block damage 1. A stone arrow does range damage 25. And significant le significantly less projectile velocity. So that accounts for the, the lesser um, arrow drop with the crossbow bolt. But a crossbow bolt does do yeah. more damage. And... Uh, well, that's cool. Yeah, it does a lot more damage in the higher tiers as well. On the lower tiers, it just does three extra damage. At the, at the steel tier, it does nine extra damage. So, nice. yeah, all right. Well, I will uh, take that under under advice uh, under advisement, and I will switch over to a crossbow for the time being, and we'll see how that Very one goes nice. down. Yeah. Uh, I will modify my bow. Take off some of the bits and bobs. Don't drop off the weapon there. It's a nice weapon. Actually, I noticed that there is a modified compound bow in there already. When we decide not to use a weapon and store it, Sheila, yeah. it would be really good if, if it's a weapon, like a gun, we unload the gun, and if it is yeah. a, uh, a modded, take the mod yeah, out. any kind of modded weapon, yeah. yeah, removing the mod would probably be a big, big thing for us. Uh, with that I should be able to make a that's fine chunky bit of uh, crossbow bolts. I'm gonna make these favorites so that they always show up for me, and I'll just go ahead and make ninety-seven in the middle of the feathers I have remaining, because I will have I'm just uh, very sorry. few otherwise, unfortunately. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? Just chopping down loads of trees, I'm gonna make loads of frames and then you can uh, come and decide with me where this wall is going we can just sort of mark it out with some frames. Yeah, that, was, that sounds like a great plan actually. Uh, I did pop on a bunch of iron bars just before we started the recording here. Also, I need to put on a bit more wood there. Let's turn that on. Dunk. So that I can continue working on the farm. Where is Metallo? Okay, so we've got enough for 250 wooden frames. 
Nice. Plant fibers. Let me get some plant fibers. Right, we're only going to need to lay down the perimeter um, out here, I would say. The very rough perimeter uh, in general. Let's go ahead and grab all of this if I can. Do you want some frames? Uh, I've got 29. and. Okay, that's good to start. Yeah, it's a decent start, I would say. I'm just grabbing some I extra plant I imagine we're going to want, there. like, flagstone probably to start with for the wall, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And we're... Ultimately, and then gonna, the... if we're in the horde base and there's no way into the horde base from within the perimeter wall, then we won't yeah. have to make the perimeter wall particularly uh, thick. But here's the kicker: if you do put a door into the horde base inside the perimeter wall, which is kind of what we're going to want to do, I would say, mm -hmm. then we need to make the wall. Uh, the perimeter wall itself pretty thick yeah. otherwise the zombies will perceive the wall which they only have to bash and one block through in. and then a door yeah. as potentially an easier way in than having to navigate our trap system and we've got we've always got to build the trap system in such a way that it it um convinces zombies that they want to take that route rather than the alternative yeah. so i'm thinking one two for the perimeter wall like there so a double thick wall and at least out that far in this direction so another double thick wall here like so okay and then probably out just past the farms and that'll give us a start it's, it's gonna take us a while to get that going but it'll be a start for us there we go and then out in some unspecified length out past the farm because we're going to want room for some vehicles to be parked. Now this is yeah. just a guesstimate. But leave room for vehicles and another tower. But the tower can be incorporated into the wall itself on this side if we want to. How does that how does that sound? As just that a very fine. very rough idea. Um I wouldn't fill this wall in initially. The one that I'm just laying out now. Yeah. Just because if we did... We'll work on the parking garage and stuff first. Yeah, exactly. What we could maybe do is put like a wooden wall or something that could be easily taken down or I don't know. Or just even leave it completely open. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of options. are we going to want this though. wall complete by Horde night? Or are we alright? So right now, the Horde after. base is... Um, capable of defending itself, so it's not a massive priority, but if we start on this we project... We definitely need to upgrade these. Yeah, if we start, we need to finish all of it. Yeah, this wall especially. Once this wall connects, then the defensive system of the base becomes weaker. So we need yeah. to adjust this approach to that that path. Uh, that would need to be done before Horde Night, yeah. That's a bare minimum. Because, again, right, so, yeah. once that's changed, it is going to make that whole system a lot less secure. Yeah, so th I'm a bit worried about the fact that I can't complete the wall because we don't know how far out we've got to go with this wall out here. Well, you can complete part of it. Like I said, as long as we don't open up the inside of the, of the horde base. Yeah to the inside of the perimeter, then there's no particular issue with that. No, I suppose not. I'm also going to move around to these candles. I don't think I need to make as many frames as I'm making, honestly. I've had a long well, think about way. this. And I think... Oh, no, Ruby does not go there. Dread. That is scuppered my plans. Long think be down. Oh, no. Right, I'm going to see how much stone we have lying around, how much it. dirt we have lying around. And, uh, that is still not right, nice. There we go. Oh, well, this is a nice enough little area for the time being, I would say. Now I just need to copy this design over on this side and generally improve the situation. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, let me just check, have I got any extra skills to spend? I do not. 
much shame. Uh, living off the land would need another two levels. I'm quite far away from that. Okay, I'm gonna harvest the plants for now. Okay. I am making some cobblestone rock. Because okay. that's new. <laughs> I know, right? Remember, if you've got a large bulk order of things that you need to make, you can always use the a workbench. Bench. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually. Furthermore, I want to offer a massive thank you to everyone who reminded me that I can, in fact, use a land I'm claim playing. block to move an item, at least an item that I placed, such as the forge. I didn't yeah. need to tear that down. That was my bad there. Thank you so much for reminding me that that was even an option. At least you tore, some, tore down something you could remake. Yeah, well, that was, the, that was the whole reason I felt confident enough to tear it down, to be fair. Um, but yeah, there, there's definitely uh, room for improvement to there. I can hear a witch. Oh, no. There she, there she is. Oh no. Ah, damn it. She spotted me and has already screamed. Oh dear. And I don't know where you are because we're not in a team. Okay. <laughs> Dunk. Going back up again. Dunk. She's down. I didn't want oh, nice to fuss about with her because uh, I'm still working on the farm. Yeah, I'll get rid of this Sombol here. Yeah, there's a, quite a few have uh, spawned around. Most of them are slow movers, though. There's no zombie dogs that I've seen. Yeah. So I'm just going to wipe them out where I can in melee. My melee damage is still fairly low, but uh, still worth going for. Still takes me two or three hits to take him out, though. Which is a bit of yeah. a pain, but... There's another that spawns... It's nice when you start to get to the point where you can just kill a thin zombie with one hit. Yeah, it's very nice when you can do that. Really nice. Hello. I'm done. Anyone drop down there? Yes, you did, you little scallywag you. I knew that was going to happen. Into the farm. She did, How yeah. Dare you. Nice work. <laughs> Very nice work. Okay, sorted. Thank you for the and backup I'm there. Off. I'm off to dig dirt. Okay. Do I have a shovel? Have you got a good shovel? It's a level three one with like a modifier and a, a durability thing on it. Then that is a good shovel, yes. I'm going to go back to the the old pit that we used to dig from. Yeah. And dig it out wider. What's you. I'm After gonna quickly I got rid of this lumberjack. Go and drop off today's harvest. Ah! Damn it. You all right? Yeah, I missed my jump. So oh, no. <laughs> I, did, I did what the zombies do. <laughs> the first time I think I've done that on my own defenses. At least in this playthrough. I've done it loads of times in, in general, but... Uh, right. We got a decent return. Quite quite a nice return, actually. Uh, so, not unhappy with that at all. Uh, I want to make the candles. All ten. And I can drop them off in here when they're done. Got some forged iron with me. That's good. Wrench is good. Uh, how does one make a land plane block? I want to see if I can move the workbench. It's just made of stone. In which case, I shall make one. That's pretty easy then. Yeah. That's good. Let's make some more bars if I can. If I undermine all this snow, will it all just like fall down? Uh, snow, no. I don't believe snow will. Unfortunately. I no longer need the torch. I'm going to put the, the torch in tools. Okay. Simply because I don't need a torch since I've got a mining helmet. If I'm in a position where I need that, I'm going to put the mining helmet on and use that. 
Uh, right. Can I make cement? Yeah, cement is used to craft concrete. Can I make concrete? Concrete mix is just made in a mixer. Yeah, it's not something that we need um, knowledge to do. So the concrete mixer that I no. marked on my map should suffice. And on that note, nice. There you go. Yeah, if you could share party it. Invite. Oh yeah, party invite and share the waypoint. I'd be happy to go up there and. Uh... Oh, did I not find a concrete mixer? I was certain I found a concrete mixer. Oh no. Uh, I must have only found a cam station. Oh well. I'll. Uh... Keep our eyes out for one. Where is staging base? Is this staging base? Yes. I'm going to move staging base. Don't need that now. Uh, but I will share chem station with you. There you go. I'm going to need a little bit more wood to uh, keep everything going. We are actually running low on that. 109 uh, concrete mix, which is quite nice. Oh, do you need any frames, by the way? Because I completely overmade them. Uh, no, I should be good with frames. Thank you, though. I'll uh, just put them away in a construction chest when I next go by. Sure. I think, however, I am going to head out and do a little bit of questy goodness. I might come with you. Sure, by all means. At this point, I'm basically just making a load of flagstone in the workbench, so that's yeah. just doing the job for There's me. There's really. no reason for you to worry about that. At this point, I've, just I've become confident enough to do my building at night, so there's no yeah. real reason to waste those precious, precious daylight hours, or more to the point, uh, zombie lethargic hours, mm. on building in the base. Uh, unless it gets towards yeah. Horde Night, in which case it becomes increasingly important. It depends, to yeah, spend it's like time an emergency there. then. Uh, I am actually going to plonk a bunch of these wooden frames into the... Actually, I want this stone. Uh, the fire, just to keep that burning, actually. Uh, everything else is good. You can burn wooden frames. For those who've been telling me in the comments that you can use like wooden doors or wooden frames to to get a more efficient burn time i don't believe that is the case anymore unfortunately i think that was actually taken out quite a little quite a while ago um that exploit was taken out because you could make wooden frames and then get more burn time than the equivalent amount of wood yeah. would have given you i'm almost certain that that, that is no longer the case i started now. watching youtubers and if they see anything like videos coming out like you can make hundreds of of coins with just fishing or whatever and then like <laughs> oh that's what we need to nerf then <laughs> yeah. thank you guys I, I strongly suspect that to be the case actually yeah because that's what i'd do if i were a dev i'd be like hee 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 <laughs> <laughs> there you go uh right we've got cotton that i could plant i'm not going to plant that yet the mushroom spores do need to be planted at some point rather soon I haven't got enough aloe to make more, which is a shame. I do have enough yucca fruit, though, to make more, which I shall do. Let's go ahead and make some yucca seeds. Make two. The aloe seed can stay as is. Right, there we go. All right, then. I am about ready to move out. I'm going to drop off my claw hammer. Don't need it with me. My wrench can come with me. I'm going to drop off my... Uh, do I drop off the iron shovel? Mm. I keep the iron shovel. I'm going to keep my pickaxe with me. I will load them into my bicycle. That way, I've got the right tools for the job on the bike. Yeah, because you know you're going to find like cement or something. Yeah, and if I do, I can use my bicycle then to... And I almost jumped into the spikes. Yes, you're quite correct. Everyone just saw that on my on my video. Uh, uh, that your bicycle. That's nice. Now that's yours. I've got my bicycle I am the in my pocket. One that left it. I was gonna say I am the stupid one that left my bicycle uh, outside. <laughs> Slowly expanding the yucca farm. 
All right. Uh, before we go, though, I am going to go and try and lift the workbench. And if that works, then I'm going to Why do you always happy. say before we go when I'm already going? Well, I, I, I'm a busy bee. Ah. Super busy. Uh, yeah. Can I this down? Can I not pick that up? Let's see. Don't. Alright. I've got a land claim block down. Uh, green inside a claim, and yellow inside a claim, while well, whatever else, red cannot place a block. You can only have one active land claim block at a time. Placing another will deactivate your previous blocks. Enemies will not respawn within your claimed area. Um. You can pick up and move electrical components and workstations inside your claim. I may need... Oh, you're... Hang on. I'm going to stop your workbench doing a bunch of things. Am I not? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Mm. You can just uh, move it and then... No, I don't seem to be able to it. lift it up, unfortunately. Uh, press E to use. Hide bounds. No. Oh, I've removed it. It didn't seem to allow me to pick it up. Maybe I'm just not uh, not understanding the mechanics involved in that. Oh well. It was worth having a look. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's not the end of the world that that's over there. No. no. It would have been good to lift a chemistry station and bring it back. But I can understand why the devs don't want you to do that. Yeah, because they want you, to either you make would it or massively bypass so much if you could. Yeah. If you you just scavenge until you found stuff yeah. and then bring it back. I suspect the land claim the land claim block allows you quite happily to remove anything that you've placed, but you can't just carry around a land claim block, drop it down in a place, and then lift everything that was in that place. That would be. A wee bit exploitable. I'm going to share this quest with you. Okay. Hang on. Oh, have you shared one with me already? Not that I can recall. I don't have a quest. It says... I've, I haven't talked to the trader yet, or have I? I haven't got any shared quests. I'm just working out how to share it, just a sec. Okay. There we are. Right, you should have a, a share now. Okay, we'll have a look in just a second. I am just going to place yep. the land claim block in the horde base. As that will prevent a few odd things happening in here. Uh, it doesn't look like I can, I can lift everything. Right. Workstations don't seem to be oh, liftable. Let me have a, another quick look at the land claim uh, journal entry. Uh, land claim grants hardness modifier to all blocks in your claim area. This hardness modifier applies to any attacks or damage to blocks by enemy players. Only the players, though, not zombies. You can pick up and move electrical components and workstations inside your claim. Electrical items outside of your claim can be cut and wired by strangers. When I'm placing a block, you will see a colored placement preview. Colors are as follows. Green inside your claim, yellow inside your friend's claim, white everywhere else. Red, you cannot place a block. You can only have one activated land claim block at a time, placing another, blah, blah, blah. It might be that land claim blocks only allow you to lift items that you placed after placing the land claim. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to have to have a, have a look into that. It'll be something that we can puzzle through in time uh, do you need any materials from the base by the way any food anything like that um some water and by water she love clearly means tea that would be fine too tea is on its way uh, I have got plenty of food so I don't need anything more today alright on the way close the door is this still? Right. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna head. Oh, you're going to the trader first, aren't you? 
Yep. I'm going to head and start my quest. Have you accepted the share on it? I have accepted the share. Oh, that's fantastic. And you can just, you can just like kind of catch up. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to also head over to the trader and grab a quest myself. Because I think that would probably be quite wise. That's why I thought you were going to the trader to get a quest. You're going to sell stuff as well. Um, no. Well, actually, it's day, what, 17. The trade is only mm -hmm. the will of refresh, but I think we've already worn it out, so no. We checked it on day 16, I think, and yeah. I think we need to check it again on day 19. Yeah, that's the day the trader's quest, uh, trader's inventory respawned. Oh, it has been, it's already 2 p.m. This is what happens in between, you know, uh, reasonable gaps in recording sessions. Uh, there's so much stuff just builds up that we need to take care of. Uh, how close are you to your next level, by the way, Sheila? I just had a level, so oh, I've got a point nice. sitting that I need to spend. Very nice, very something. nice indeed. I haven't decided what I want to spend it on yet, so I'm going to wait till night and just have a little look. Hello, trader. I would like a quest from you, if I may. Oh, you have any jobs? Um, clear zombies, 1.5 kilometers away. A fetch quest, 278 meters away. Wow. Yeah, you might want to take that one then. Yeah. Well, I've got a one and a half kilometer away fetch quest, which I'm just heading to right now. Right. I'm going to share that quest with you. Thank you. I'll just grab that. Bicycle's going backwards and down the hill now. Right, let's have a look at the various quests. You're on your way to your quest. Where is the other one? It's remarkably close, apparently. Yeah, there we are. Really close by. We'll do that one on the way back. Right. I'm going to head out and meet She Lab now. Whoop. There we go. You've got a bit of a head start on me, but that's fine. Now, as I've mentioned before, the points of interest will regenerate their zombie populations every five or so days, but their um, loot will only regenerate every 30 days, assuming it was undisturbed. Yeah. Now, that can mean that if you find a particularly um, tough point of interest, which has a lot of zombies in it, but they're the sort of zombies that you can comfortably farm. Um, certain very large points of interest might have a, a lot of... Ooh, I'm thirsty, apparently. How am I thirsty? Okay, well, I need to get I haven't drunk enough tea. I know, but I was really quite not thirsty early. I had myself up to like 130 oh. water, and like now I'm down to like... My stamina isn't even 100 anymore again. Well, mine ridiculous. should be okay. I've just eaten uh, meaty stew, and I haven't even done it. Well, I suppose I did a load of digging. Actually, maybe that was what it was. Grab this one as well if I can. Dunk. I really do love the crossbow just for its speed. That is the arrow speed, not the speed of the crossbow. The speed of the crossbow oh, gee, is there's a vulture, rubbish. like, following oh. my bicycle. Stupid vulture. Eat you. Yeah. Stupid vulture's friend. Hate you, too. She love is very hateful today. Yeah. But yes, I imagine everyone watching on my screen can now see why you might not necessarily go for the crossbow, despite it being a more more potent weapon overall in terms of its raw damage. It is so incredibly slow compared to the the, the bow. So much slower compared to the bow. Oh, the ball. Yeah. I'd say I just prefer it because it means I don't have to draw draw back and that you know keep the mouse clicked down all the time i find that a bit hard i agree excuse me do not disturb 
Okay, I need, need my gun. Oh, damn it. Got a bleeding wound. The unfortunate thing with the crossbow is once you start reloading the crossbow, as you will have been able to watch there, you can't stop. So I just got a bleeding wound from a bloody bow as a result of that. Or rather, I'm the bloody one. Oh, or, okay. well, I mean, the bow is dead, so one would assume it is also bloody, but... Uh, annoying. Oh, well. It can be excused. I had to use a gun in the end just so I'd have the uh, speed to take that out, but... Once that ball got a bit closer, I should have switched to the gun rather than go for the next uh, crossbow shot, really. That was a bit, that was on me. Poor decision. Right. On my way. Stopping every couple of uh, nests, though, because we are out of feathers and I haven't seen a vulture Well, you know, you just need to follow me around. I'll have a trail of vultures behind me. I mean... Not a bad thing. One of the things I liked about that uh, point of interest, it was a guaranteed vulture there. Yeah. Dunk. And dunk. Now, I don't believe that the archery skills for faster um, drawing of bows affects a crossbow. I could be mistaken, though. Because if it does affect the crossbow, then that's a, now a really high priority skill to get. Yeah. Because if I could reload this a bit faster, oof. I would probably save my life at some point. Another lumberjack. Jesus. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that lumberjack right now. I'm just going to try and catch up with the shield. Uh. I mean, it does say that archery is master the use of bows and crossbows. Oh, is it? That's what it says at the top of it, so if it's saying bows and crossbows, then I would imagine that all of the unlocks affect... That's probably why I'm not struggling, because I've got two levels of archery. Might be, yeah. It may well be. In that case, I will prioritise uh, getting that uh, in a moment. I've got a level where I'm quite aware that I'm a fair ways off from you, and it's already 4pm. Ah, oh, there's not enough daylight in the day! Now this is this is daylight in the day. one of the things that uh, I have received a few comments on, and that is that why don't I decrease the amount of nighttime hours? Because you can define how many hours are in a day, and thereby how many hours are in a night. Uh, you can also define how long a twenty-four hour cycle, a full day-night cycle, takes to traverse in real-time hours. Uh, so, or rather real time minutes. So currently we're on the default and that is 60 minutes, more or less. Um, but, you know, more, more than less. Uh, 60 minutes per full daylight cycle and 18 hours of daylight. We haven't deviated from the default with that. You right, Shilab? Yeah, yeah, it's just got a big fat lady zombie after me, and it's quite tight, close quarters. Okay. I am I'm gonna draw fairly her outside. close now. Are you actually yes, already taking the outside. quest? No, I'm just clearing the house prior. Nice. It's only a very small house, so I figure that uh, we'll, we'll, we can do a clear and... Yeah, that makes have sense. have it all done by 10. Yeah, yeah, of course. Almost there. Goodness, how many hours do you need? Well, they can take quite a few sometimes. Many. I wasn't getting headshots, but I got most of my arrows back. So that was yeah, headshots make all the difference. A crossbow headshot is going to be extremely lethal. Yeah, I've got a couple of nice, uh, really nice shots in with where I just exploded heads, but not with that one, seemingly. Right, so is this a play. fetch quest? Yeah, okay. it will be once it starts it, yeah. Whilst we're using bicycles to get around rather than uh, motorized transport, skills which affect our stamina game while sprinting will be especially useful. Double useful for now. Right, where are you parked? I can see your bike. Okay, I'm going to go park over with your bike. I may, in fact, tear down that, uh, that car. If 
I got enough sort of storage? Yes, I do. Fantastic. Go ahead and make this. I'm going to place down a storage box next to our bikes. Cool. I'm not that. Have I got my wrench in here? I do. Oh, I was a smart addict. Come down the stairs there, and I will shoot you. At least she likes polite about it. Say what you will. But at least she's polite when asking uh -huh, things. They're all trying to get through the banisters. Oh, you broke the stairs. Now I've got to fix them, you stupid zombies. But you don't have to. As long as you can get up them right if now, want, you're good. If I want to go up them, I probably do, though. Get away, you stupid feral. Is it actually a feral? Yeah. Wow. Yellow eyes and everything. You need backup? Took a bit of damage from him, but I hit him in the face and uh, exploded his head with a my spiky club. Nice work. Yeah, I was like, why are you running? It's daytime. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why. That's why you were feral. It was only a skinny zombie, though, too, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't say, think they're any harder. They just run, don't they? Yeah, no, they they do have increased stamina regeneration. I there is a lumberjack going through right now. Sorry, I couldn't uh, find one to talk. My bad. <laughs> now he's dead. Going for a gut shot. I was all lining up and everything. Right, so you've cleared everything right, in here? Ooh, there is a... No, I haven't cleared upstairs because I was too busy drawing the zombies out. Fair enough. Uh, there is a cement uh, box in there, I believe. Drop off the car parts on here. The gas. Oh, really? I've got all my frames away. Did you bring frames with you at all? I did, yeah. That's good. Someone's prepared. I can hear a zombie. Yeah. Where? Where Crawl are just you? down here. I'm going for the cement. And there's ah. a shipping crate. A working stiff shipping crate, in fact. Nice. Gas barrel, too. You can get some extra scrap polymers off the tire. There you go. You can go ahead and, and loot that if you want. Thank you. Got a wrench and 15 rebar frames, which is actually kind of handy, I guess. Yeah, that is quite handy, isn't it? Uh, I need to take my skill point while I'm here. Uh, I was going to build up for living of the land three to get three harvested crops, but um, no. Archery is apparently much better. Yeah, uh, I mean, if it's 25 percent. Faster aiming with bows and reload and draw are 15% faster. I'm absolutely going to buy that. That is 100% worth my time. Right. Just gathering some cement mix. Right. On my way out now to you. Campsite next, though, that we may want to investigate, too. Let me know if there's anything jumping out of you or if you're in any kind of Yeah, there are a few problem. things upstairs. I'm trying to get upstairs. I can jump over the gap in the stairs, seemingly. Oh. Uh, did you ever... Uh, did you bring that tea for me? That yep. I'm a bit thirsty. Sure. Thank you. Lovely. Scrapping everything right now. Yeah, well, there are thumbles in there, by the way, just in case you can't hear them. <laughs> oh, no, no, I can, I can hear them. They have been very loud. Hidden tire. Probably breaking more of the stairs. Typical. Why can't you just walk down the stairs instead of breaking them all the time? Oh, my goodness. They are zombies. I'm supposed to get upstairs now. I don't think your ability to move Take up that. or down the stairs is really one of their top priorities. Take that. I'm gonna be honest. And take that. I think it's probably fairly low. And take that. Okay. They are taking many things, apparently. Yes. Now I really can't get up the stairs. I need your frames. Okay. I'm taking apart all of the stuffs. 
Alright, frames. Okay. There you go. Dunk. Dunk. There you go. Yep. Plant with me. Because why not? Oh, now, of course, I've got to chop the thing above me. Because now I, I can lower them down. It's frame. easy enough for me to adjust it. Can you get up there? Uh, let me just let me just drop that by one. Uh, of course, you know that's also an option. There you go. It's a bit easier. Right. right. Could be something hidden up there. But at this point, there's been enough noise made. I suspect I any think zombies. They, I think they're pretty much all out now. I think they've all been. Got a bunch of ammo there. Not a bad little hole. Medical supplies. Oh, a first aid bandage. Nice. Nothing much there. Got some scrap leg armor. Pretty rough quality, though. It's only a quality one. Do you need any scrap leg armor? No, I think my leg armor is better than that. I think it's... Uh... Oh, actually, no, I do. Leg armor is the one thing I do not have. Oh, well, in that case, it's not very high quality, but... Let me see if I've got materials yeah, better to repair than nothing. it. Yeah, I do. Here we go. On the ground for you. Thank I you very much. Well, no, you haven't. Just some, some milky water, which I can now apparently drink. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got tea. Precious, precious tea. Oh, I've got a helmet. We do have nice. a torch back at the at the base, so I can make your mining helmet now. Oh cool. Gone will be the days of needing gamma vision. Nothing up there? No, those are zombies, I think. Anything else? We can tear down beds and stuff, but I'm not gonna worry about tearing down the beds. I think, you know, when you get to the point where it's like 8 o'clock at night and you haven't started your quest yet, you need to just get on with the quest. <laughs> so, let's yeah, go back to the door. Yeah, fair point. You're like, I wonder whether I should take apart all the beds. It's like, no. 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 <laughs> take them apart in the house near the base then. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to drop off all of the stuff that we've looted. I recommend you do the same. Yeah, okay. Wild boar over there. Don't need that. You right? Yeah, I'll probably need to pistol him, unfortunately. Okay, one pistol shot this time. I must be starting to do better with my skills. I've got a knife on me, unless you've got it. You've got it. It's fine. Oh yeah, I've got a knife now. I'll put my bone knife away and have my hunting knife out and then I'll remember to use it. Right, dropping that off. And, well, I mean, I could use the, the wrench and everything, but... Right, I'm good to go. Got my lights on and everything. Ready when you are. Now what we can do is on our way back, if we feel particularly brave, we can go and do the other quests as well. If not, we'll just do it first thing in the morning and we'll just spend some time on the base. Yeah. Fair point. Alright, starting the quest now. Go. Dink. Now, has that affected this place? Yes, it has. Hello. Nice thing about crawlers is even if they are... Uh, feral or it's uh, daytime doesn't matter. They're still crawlers. It's glorious. Uh, let's go go grab what we need to for the quest, and then we can empty the house on the way back down. Yeah. Have you been through the it's house upstairs. in here? Yes, you have. Okay. Well. Yeah, I think looting the house quietly on the way back is probably the better idea. Grab the chair as I'm moving. Now the thing is, I don't want to rush back to where she lab is, simply because if I do, I'm going to create a lot of noise. Oh gosh. What's wrong? There was a uh... oh, zombie in the bathroom. I'm going to just melee. 
Oh. One breaking through the door. The side. Yeah, I see. It's quite a lot. Yeah. It's a there decent amount so of them. Many yeah. Then we're gonna need to down get our crossbows ready. Go on out. Yep. Yeah, I'm coming down. Don't worry. We might not follow though. Yeah, they are. There Switch it. Ah, sorry, I'm right in it's your okay. way. This it's... is such tight quarters. It's alright. Just have an awareness of where your uh, allies are, that's all you need. It's down. Go it, for it's... headshots if you can. That was a terrible shot. Coming in. No, I missed. Oh gosh, I'm stuck in a crossbow now. Yeah, I know. The crossbow is a mixed blessing. Yeah. Lots of damage, but also lots of fumbling. One down. Two. There you go. I do apologize for the leg shot, but I need to use the fault. There we go. Whew. All right. This area is a bit nasty simply because of the. Uh, I'm going to pop down. Don't worry. Move back. Actually, I can't place him until that body's out of the way. Unfortunately. There we go. Don't. Go ahead. And jump up. Enough to, yeah. It's really annoying how many zombies there are up here. Well, that makes sense. That's how this area is so difficult. Yeah. I got the courier satchel. Oh, I got a puffer coat. Nice. Oh, nice. They're quite good. Uh, do I... Have I completed this? No, no, I still need to find that satchel. Interesting, then. That's pretty cool. It's in here, anyway. Yeah, coming now. Whereabouts is, is it this satchel? Above no. the above the bed. Oh so it is, yeah. There we go. That's nice and easy. Did right. you loot the bathroom in the other bedroom? No no no, I've I've barely looted uh this time through. I've just been uh mostly looking for the zombies. Uh let's go ahead and make some more crossbow bolts. I'm gonna Stick with stone crossbow bolts for now, simply because I've got a stack of them already. We've got ten minutes, well, we've got like eight minutes. Well, until we need to be out of here. Until they start to run. Yeah, that's fine. We'll still be faster than them on our bikes, but... Yeah. It won't mess we, It would be rest. ideal to be on the bikes. Yeah. There's a couple of things I want to hit again. Um, oh, oh, there we go. But yeah, there's still a few things that I'll want to extract out of the garage. The cement being one of the chief ones. Yeah. Have you got your axe handy? Yep. If you crouch, you will do le less noise whilst doing that. There we go. Okay, there you go. And a basket, some boots, some pipes, Shamway shipping container. Uh, can you... Actually, don't worry, I'll just grab my axe. There's fine. Dunk. I've got a little saddle down here. But always watch for them sneaky little false floorboards. And we got some sham. Okay, heading back out. Gonna go to the garage. Yeah, I can't see much out here, but there's probably stuff around. So I'll have my spiky club out. Yeah, wise. Grab those tires where I can. Right, gonna hack my way through here. And fairly soon, I've already taken out the zombie that was in there. Gas can, worth it. It's 
decent amount of cash if you sell it to the trader, if nothing else. Working stiff tools. We've got two anvils and wire tools. Wow. Okay. I'll leave you to gather that. Excellent. All right, let's go up to the storage Good box. Bicycles. And we can... Well, actually, before I do, I'm going to take apart this broken down car again. Just get some extra gas. Eventually, we're going to need it for the generators once we set up electricity at our base. So, may as well. Yeah. You can go for solar, but that takes a lot more effort to do. And it requires typically a a trader item. All right. You need to buy the solar array frame. And then you can load it with solar panels and the, the, the better solar panels you put in it, so on and so forth. Um, let's put this puffer coat instead of my duster. The puffer coat has got just enough heat to help out. Yeah. Much better than the duster. The duster is, is supreme in a warm environment. Keeps you very cool. Yeah. And the purple coat is very slightly better in cold. Right, dropping off the everything now. Right, and then I'll start taking condenses. the everything. Got cowboy boots here. I usually take some cowboy boots around with me just in case I get cold because they have some cold resistance on them. Uh, and I've got like right. boots that don't. Oh, I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm wearing steel toe boots. To be okay so at the moment. Yeah, I don't really want to drop those. Okay. Everything is in there that needs to be. Okay. If you want to grab what you want out of there. I'm trying to repair this. I can't. I need more. Oh, I need steel for a wrench, that's right. A bit vexing, but okay. Drop off a flower. I'll keep that out with me, actually. Okay, if you just take um, everything you can out of there. Will do. Without being too encumbered. And just let me know if uh, you have any spare space or not. Some things that we can definitely scrap in there. Okay, I've got everything, and there are still nine items left. So, I'm going to take the 80 feathers, and I'm going to craft them into more bolts. So that'll get rid of something. Okay, we don't need potted plants. What? No, keep. You can go back. Um, there's a couple of things we can break down, though. We've also got room on our bicycles as well. Pairs. I don't. I do, so I'm dropping some things off in there. Okay, there's four things left now. And that's how many spots I've got now that I've moved some stuff into the... Perfect. Pipe. All right, off we go. Super encumbered. Are you encumbered? Sure. Yeah, I'm fully encumbered. Well, I've got two more spots left that I can I can take. Don't worry about it, it's fine. The All bicycle right. helps a lot. That's you. On the way now. Can I not turn off the light on my bicycle? Oh, that's good. Enough. It'll be 4 a.m. by the time we're back. <laughs> you I might swear. be right. You might be right. It'll be like, we were going to spend the night time doing base stuff, but it seems that we can just do uh, scavenging and quests at night. Because it's more fun that way. Hello, goodbye. Also, hello, goodbye. They have they have spotted me, but they've just not spotted me fast enough to start running but before I'm already past yeah. them. So I don't know. I'm sort of like stopping. Messaging. Letting my stamina go up and then just sprinting past them on the bike. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> effectively I'm so what I'm doing. I'm watching one chasing after you now. There we go. Full stamina. Okay. 
There we are. But yeah, once you once you've got a mode of transport, the game really opens up. Especially once you've got yeah. some um, confidence in your skills to kill even fast moving zombies. Ironically, with the crossbow, my ability to kill fast moving things has diminished somewhat. I'm more accurate at hitting them, but I'm less capable of killing them before they're within range. But Might that's what the pistols to go are for. Off the road, unfortunately. How come? Hmm? How come? Because the road doesn't actually connect up with with our base at all. Well, that's if you no look problem. on the map. Uh, no, I was just following you, honestly. Um, yeah. Are you able to see ahead? Because if not, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. that's I fine. Can then. See fine. <laughs> oh, of course, there's a camera vision. I keep forgetting. Sorry. It's areas where my headlamp light isn't right now are almost pitch black. Pitch me. black, yeah. At least uh, in the temperate forest biome. No, I think it's hard enough that the zombies run at night without being not able to see. Ah, but it adds the atmosphere. It does. I'm sure it does. If it weren't for the fact that there is such a, a, a frequent difference between the light and the dark... Um, for example, right now in the snow biome, it is quite light. And if I go near a torch, it gets very bright. And if I've got my torch light out, then the area that my torch light is on is very bright. Then I do some post-processing gamma correction. Um, much as I did it with Kingdom Come Deliverance, I really enjoyed the atmosphere of playing that game with it being dark as it was meant to be. Mm-hmm. No, that's totally what I do. I do post-processing gamma correction. I'm totally just being really boss in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like 100%. Uh, the vulture yonder is taken to the sky. I hate vultures so much. At least I suppose they're not any faster in the dark. Are they? <laughs> uh, as far as I'm aware, not. Vultures are, vultures are, vultures are. Really. thirsty. Let's stop to drink. Let's check for the vulture following Yeah, I am thirsty too. You can't drink on the bike though. Oh, it's yep. so annoying. Vulture incoming. Punk. Crossbow bolt to the face! Yeah. Yes. Yay! Feathers. Well done. Thank you. Well, I've got a machete on me already. We're nearly back. Just in time for it to be like half past one. That's fine. Gives me some time to do a little bit more work in the... Uh... There's some zombies just behind the farm as well. Keep an eye out for them. Will do. But this gives me time to get a bit of work done. I am so slow now I'm off that bicycle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we That's go. That's so funny. I see the zombies. I think what I'll do is I'll actually uh, hop off the bike, pick the bike up, move everything inside. I actually don't have enough room to pick up the bike. No, that's understandable. And it won't let you pick it up with a full inventory. So no. You can't lift anything up if it has any kind of inventory in it. So you do need to move things out. Dunk. And down here. Dunk. Right. Time to use the dump chest quickly. Making sure not to drop things I actually care about. Um, I can go in there. Glass jars. So much rotten flesh. I know, right? There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. What's my food like right now? Food is at 100%. Water is at 118 of 130. I could push out a little bit more. I'm not going to worry right now, actually. What I will do, oh. well, I guess since we're stood here, I may as well start shifting things around. 
instead. Yeah, kind of popping things in to where I kind of think they need to go. Yep. Makes sense. Let's drop the oh, that. Ammo, down, uh, ammo down here. Are we storing the ammo like ammo heads in the in the ammo, ammo mods? Chest? Yeah, that would make them. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Really? I would think so. Unless you want to scrap them down. No, no, I'm good with with storing them. That makes the most sense to me. Gonna grab the dyes unless you have anything you need dyed. No, I don't. Well, if I do, I'm, we've got them coming in all the time, so don't worry about it. Well, no, I'm only I'm only gonna die things because we've got spare dies. So uh, I think I've got my my crossbow has died, my club has died, my spade has died, my axe is too low level to be died. Right. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna die my padded leg armor because that will increase it a chunky bit. So I'll go for pink. Keep the theme. Are you putting gas dyes? I as well. Pots. I'm terrible because I put things away and then I'm like, oh, that needs to go in the chest I was just in. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm exactly the same. Wow, we got a you... lot of wooden frames. You get. Yeah, I made loads just at the beginning of the episode. I thought we were going to like basically make the entire perimeter wall out of like cranes, and, and then we didn't. So there's not that's really fine. much reason to do that because we would be replacing them. So there, there's no particular exactly. reason to to make the entire fence out of it. Rather, you would just make the perimeter so you knew where you were going to put things. Yeah. Right, I'm taking all of the clay soil, small stones, and cobblestone rocks away. Um, you couldn't move the workbench, could you? So I need to just go over to the little garage. Yeah, unfortunately. Sorry about that. That's all right. Last pains. There we go. Dropping off all of these wonderful things. But hopefully, you want to get over there. There should be a bunch of flagstone blocks ready for me. Yeah, I did make sure to put those back on. Yeah, and then I went in and double checked as well. Okay, not doing too bad. We do have enough torches. And there should be a new helmet there. That. I believe I'm going to be able to make you a minus helmet. Do you actually want one? Um, uh, I don't know really okay, because okay. I've got a warm skull cap on at the moment. It's keeping me nice and toasty. Well, what you could do is you could have this for the times where you're going to be inside at night and just swap it. That's what I do. As I carry around yeah. a a skull cap with me, and then I switch as needed. No, I think I'm I'm probably okay to be honest. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Sure, I'll uh, pop these back then. We can always sell them later. Yeah. There we go. Alright, we've got 228 flagstone blocks now, so that should be enough to start that wall. Yeah, excellent. And, and another helps. 384 being made. You've already grabbed all of the flagstone out of here. I am going to need some cobble so that I can um, do more work on the farm. Oh, okay. Um, there's like tons of cobble being made in this uh, thing. Excellent. Um, let me just... Yeah, I can. I can just uh, stop it. How much do you need? You think, Ish? Oh, I'm gonna need a fair, old, fair old whack because I need to upgrade some of it. I need to build the half blocks. So it's not Why didn't it return one. the cobble to me when I I took away a process? Oh no, that was. Ah, uh, hang on, hang on. That would return the cobble to me. Sorry, I was being dumb. Um, That's okay. All right. Sorry, how did how many did you say you could? Just a bit. Uh a fair bit. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing quite a lot of work. And I've gotta build And it's the, the cobblestone itself you need, not the uh I need some so flagstone, but you... not too much. Yeah, how about I bring you like eight hundred cobble then? Yeah, that'll that'll keep me going for a little bit. Cool. 
Now, I don't intend for the farm to lead anywhere else, but uh, this back area, for those watching on my screen, uh, because this is a three by three corridor, effectively, a three wide corridor leading down, I'm thinking that this will lead there to you. the mushroom farm. We'll have the mushroom farm right at the back. I think that would be quite nice. But there we are. It is now daytime. Time. Yeah. So we're going to be able to time. head over to the trader. But before then, I would suggest we go and clear out the quest that I have and that I've shared with you. Yes. That way we can go and drop off two separate quests at the same time. It would actually be pretty cool, I think. That's right. Okay. We shall do that next time. Yes, we will. Thank you very much for joining us, everyone. We hope you have enjoyed and will be joining us for the next. But as always, do take care. And keep being awesome.